Okay, so it's change your skiing. And I've, I've gone for looking at my thoughts, my, thoughts, my process, okay. my skills, and my understanding. And it, it's just looking more internally about what's going to happen externally. And it's about just trying to uh, uh, put a process in place that we can start to uh, internally plan and change and make things happen in a different way. And um, the, the, the simple little tagline that I've put at the bottom, your thoughts give you the process to make the skills work only if you understand what you are trying to do and why. Okay. I see a lot of people um, when, they're, when they're skiing, whether it's in the UK or in, in the Alps, is that they're skiing and they're repeating a lot of um, exercises and drills, but sometimes they don't know what they're doing it and why they're doing it. So it's the case of starting to look a little bit more internally and, and start with your thoughts. And um, I've just put at the top as a, as a simple start off, it's, it's show up. Um, not feeling like skiing today, go anyway, give it a try. But at that point, you need to then start to think internally about what's going on. And I've put find an anchor. And um, we all need a theory and a process to believe in. We all need something that we, we need to um, um, catch on to. And it gives us that inspiration to keep following it through. And, um, you know, whether it's a theory from a, a governing body, whether it's from an instructor, whether it's from a centre, or whether it's something you've read in a book or seen on a, on a movie, it's just finding that anchor, something you believe in, and then putting that theory and process into place. And uh, you, you need to then, at certain points within here, I've put that you go uh, step out of your comfort zone and the willingness to push to the next level. Now, this is something as, a, as an instructor, I see a lot of people aiming to do, but they don't fully commit to doing. And it's about trying to internally recognize that you, you need to push yourself and you need to uh, uh, give yourself a, a push in the right direction so that you can go from one level to another. And that needs you to come out of your comfort zone. Uh, you need to just sort of break away from that. Looking at things from a different view. Um, sometimes we just repeat the same thing and expect a different outcome. Well, that's just the definition of insanity. It's, it's look at what you're trying to do. Look at it from a different viewpoint. The books, the videos, the theories. It, it's a case of starting to attack something from a different angle. But you, it needs to be attacked from within and you need to believe in that process. Okay. And then slow down. Take your time. Try and notice exactly what's going on the small things and the big things, okay? Don't rush through the whole process. Um, the last little section here is eliminate the excuses and create solutions, all right? This is a simple but powerful technique in changing your thinking. It's all about tapping into those emotions and eliminating the roadblocks that we spend so much energy focusing on. Instead, begin shifting your focus from the buts towards the hows, and it's how are we going to achieve it? How are we going to change what we're doing? How are we going to put a new process, new plan, and new skills in place? Okay, and it's uh, it's just trying to get that that thought process thought process right before you start moving into the process. And we've got to start somewhere. So you've got this lovely beginner skier, as in me down here. I'm the start end goal World Cup skier, and um, Beat Voice has gone on and won quite a few um, podiums and medals this this year. Um, but we all have to start somewhere. And, and that's the, the process has to begin. So it's about planning your change and um, the thoughts will allow you to plan your process. And uh, if, you, if you have a clear defined process, it becomes quite straightforward, but a lot of people will just jump on their skis, go out and just start to do something when they're on the hill. But it needs to start before that, before you get onto the skis, before you decide to put the skis on, there needs to be a process, a plan in place for you to start moving through these stepping stones, okay? We need to understand and we need to have the, the skill internal and external. And what I mean by the skill internal and external is we need to have the right idea of how the skill is worked, how it's used, how we implement that skill. The external is what is the outcome from that? Is it a, a skidded or a carved term, etc. Okay. But if we don't have it right internally and we're not sure on what that skill is, then the outcome will not be what we're trying to achieve. That's just making sure that we understand the skill internally and externally as well. A couple of um, uh, important words here, or three important words, honest, accurate, and realistic. Okay, very, very appropriate to trying to make changes and develop uh, your skiing or your, your ability in skiing. Okay, if we're not honest, we're, we're not gonna actually physically make any changes. 
We need to be as accurate as we can, but realistic. I'm not going to go from being the skier I am to a World Cup skier in, in two months, in three months. It, it might take me years if I was to decide to do that. Uh, we need to be realistic on the time frame of how it's going to, how it's going to um, pan out for us. Um, awareness of the skill, developing the skill, acquiring the skill. And this sort of moves into the skill acquisition phase of when we, uh, we learn new skills and how we start to use them. Uh, it, get, it gets to the end goal of once, you can, once you've acquired the skills, it's, it's, you become adaptable. You can use the ski, skills sorry, in different ways. And, and that's what we're all trying to be able to achieve so that we can all become all mountain skiers or we can conquer the bumps, the powder, the steeps, the flat slopes. We can do a snowplow, we can do a carve turn. And um, if we become adaptable, then we tend to be able to use all of those skills, okay? I've got a, a little video that I'm just gonna uh, run through, and it's just some uh, little videos of Mark and myself skiing, and I'll, I'll talk through bits of it, and I'll let other bits of it run. And um, it is just looking at certain skills, and I'll, I'll play this through. <laughs> I'm just gonna just gonna pause it there just for a moment. And one of the one of the things I hear from uh, a lot of people when I'm I'm teaching them or um, people that want to develop and improve their performances is if I take them back to doing a snowplow turn, they they tell me. They don't want to do that. They don't want to go back into something that's a beginner scenario. But the fact that most good skiers or definitely most good instructors, the fact that we can accurately do these basic maneuvers of a beginner very well is because we do go back and we do practice these. And we get one of the key words I mentioned on the last sheet was the accuracy. And if you just look simply at the posture that I have in place with the hands, the back, the knees, the ankles, where I'm standing over my skis, the, the posture is in place. And the more I practice this, obviously the better it's going to become. As long as it's accurate, it will become more ingrained as a good habit, which is essential, okay? Mark, your video is a bit blurry. Good. I could have sent you better quality video if you'd asked, Ali. It was your phone. Pretty good, Ali. Okay, so just, just part of the, the sort of the running theme through this is how the skills are working and the, the posture, the balance, the movements. And there, there are differences between Mark skiing and, and my skiing, okay? But hopefully you're not seeing a too big a difference between the, the two skiers and the movements and the, how the posture works. And, and it's just, I want you to keep that in mind as we go on to the next slide when the, when the video does finish, okay? Seriously, I was just thinking of that that's it. Nice round shoulders. Nice arms. That's giddy. Yeah. 
Looks nice, doesn't it? Mm. I just want to climb in the screen. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the video has made you smile, not feel too sad that we're not actually out in resorts and we're not back on skis. And um, and as I say, the, the video was it's looking at the skill and uh, the movements, the posture, the balance, all of these things that we all, we all commonly know. And um, I, I've worked around the world in various countries in in europe australia and, and canada and, and other other places and um i've just put a picture here of some of the different governing bodies who i've done exams with um and i've just listed some of them below the picture the the five words across on the left hand side the balance posture movement steering and time they haven't changed from one association to another those those skills are in every single association i've i've worked for or, or delivered courses for or been an instructor in the system and um, they don't change but the understanding of how each of those fits in place the, the process on how we use them does get changed slightly and it's making sure that we have that process on how to use these uh, efficiently and that will start with our thought process and putting that in place okay the, the knowledge of the skills and how they work is essential to the input we place into our skiing Choosing when, where, what, why gives us the desired outcome if used correctly at the right time. Okay. Influence the knowledge of skill. Okay. Reading, videos, discussions like we're doing now, writing stuff down, but experimenting. Experiment is one of the big things. And when you get back on skis, try to do things differently. Play around with what your, your skill set is. Don't just repeat the same thing over and over and over again. Once you get something working, then we start to practice and repeat that. But it's still playing around and experimenting as much as you possibly can. And the important phrase just at the bottom here is, don't be afraid of failure. We learn by our mistakes. Okay? And, and that is everyone. Every, every human being goes through that process. Okay? The last part is the, the understanding. Okay? And the understanding is, is bringing it all together. Is making sure that all the previous points that we've just sort of I've talked about and mentioned it all comes together as one and that that's the that's the overall outcome that we want okay so the thought process is there so that you have your knowledge the process to plan and achieve your goal the skill on how they work and which skill you use you begin to understand your possibilities okay you can then start to begin your development your time frame what can you do the why can you do it where can you do it etc etc okay and the understanding it is, is part of the beginning process but the end process as well and um, it's to do with uh, making sure that you start with engaging with your, your thoughts with the brain and um, hopefully when we uh, when we get back onto onto snow it's just using the using the brain as a tool as well it's there to help us I thank you all. Where has... There we go. That was great, Ali, thank you. No problem. It was, um, um, it, as I say, it's just an idea I had. I've just put it down into words. It's just, just something that sort of came to me and I've just sort of followed it through just with a little plan. Um, so it, it's just a starting point. It's, you know, we can expand it, we can go from different subjects at certain points, but it was just a starting point that I came up with because obviously everyone wants to change their skiing or change the way they um, uh, do something within snow sports. So it was just, just a bit of an idea.